just gonna go to reset settings and see what this gives me here. I'm gonna go to object and just apply this. Uh, so I going down the X axis, I think I want to be going down the Z axis, to be honest. Uh, kind of like that. Again, as long as it's not again, but as long my understanding is as long as it's consistent. Uh, so if we do Z, secondary axis is Y, which is what's pointing forward. Uh, better with the world. Uh, maybe I negative that. And then X is out to the side. So, you know, you know. Uh, what I do want, so this, oh, she, so this is actually going to be on the rotate X. So what I want is forward, I think, here to be positive. So I'm going to go to apply. So I'm going to go back to these settings. I'm going to apply that. Is that yeah. Duh, I'm looking at the object. Okay. So here we go. I'm rotating forward in Z. So I think that's what I want. So I'm going to have X pointing down. Secondary axis is Y. Secondary axis orientation is Y. And that gives me, I think, what I want. So I'm going to do that here as well. And the other issue is if they're not... So let's see. Okay. What I know that I want here. So this is oriented 180 from this, which I do not want. So let's see if I can, okay. I want this to be, so I want it to be zero, zero, and then my number. Uh, and so, because then this will be at a perfect 90 degree rotation. Ooh, that flipped that whole thing, okay. So let's uh, keep that from happening. Let's unparent this. Uh, then go zero, tab zero, uh, then even angle P to parent again. Uh, let's see how this works. All right, so if I go up, down, uh, that's what I want. Let's orient that, and then I'm going to orient this to world, which orients it to its world or its parent, not the actual world. So because it's parent, it should say orient the parent, should I think so. Uh, Alright, so that's my right leg, left leg setup. So uh, here's my little fun. Uh, so with hips thigh here, so let's take all of these. I'm going to go to prefix hierarchy. And I'm just going to go left. Uh, and it doesn't like that. Nothing matches hips, thigh, left, knee. It's weird. Okay. I mean, it's not... Ugh, turn off those notifications. Um, right. And then skeleton, mirror joints, and I should be set up left to right, crossing the Y's, the axis, and boom. And I'm uh, mirroring behavior. So if I take my left knee and right knee, forward should be positive, and if I go out, in, they should go opposite. So that's what we like. Yep. Same with the thighs. We should crisscross. That's pretty awesome. Then uh, I'm going to take this joint and duplicate it. And I'm going to move this up here. Uh, and so I have these. I'm going to turn this head off because his beard is in my way. Uh, let's go in our front view, see kind of where. Uh, I might not be a fan of how I set this up. Uh, I might want this to be these best. I wanted to give him this little V neck, but I think I kind of need this to, at this point, start going back, being around. But we'll fix that uh, at a later date. Uh, so, 
maybe just right here under the kind of under the armpit so this is where his uh, spine the joint will be uh, so maybe this would be an interesting time to write a script so let's go to right view here um, so I've got this kind of right in the center here so I'm going to want to move this back a smudge and think about where his rib cage would be it would be so yeah I'm okay with it right there um, so what I want to do is I want to take I want to take this cog this joint and I want to create however many more joints I want to create um, How many would you say? Maybe we have three more in the middle there. Uh, I think we'll be good. So what I need to do is get this distance. Or, this is where I want it. I can do uh, delete point constraints. Uh, but, Uh, my other option, uh, let's see, I have another option, which is to create, I always get this wrong too. So let's leave this open. I'm going to create an EP curve. Uh, I'm going to turn off my geometry and I'm going to snap the vertex. So I'm going to go one point here, one point here and click enter. Then I'm going to go to curves rebuild <sighs> number of spans i think what i want is five actually let's see what that gives me uh, yeah, look at that i think that's what i want right view uh but i have one two three four five so actually i want four One, two, three, four. There we go. So that's exactly where I want it. Um, I can take joint two. And then um, that's the way. So I know there's a way to show the uh, you know, vertexes, but I forget how I do that. And it's, I think it's one of these things up here. So not isolate. So I grease pencil, camera attributes. I thought it was one of these. I thought there was always some easy way to do it. And I forget what it is. So let's look it up. I'm looking it up on the interwebs. Uh, let's bring over my Maya stuff here. Thanks for showing off my desktop, jerk. Maya display CVs. It's probably under the display. Maya display CVs. Sway or EV numbers. Maya. Uh, how to display? No, not coordinates. Was it F? Display. There we go. All right, it was display CVs, 